Hello everyone, I am Yankee Oscar 6 Papa Mike X-Ray and I am glad to have you on my shack again with a new linear amplifier. I know it's been a while since I've presented you the last linear amplifier but uh, that's it with the job, I don't have very much time for this hobby. So my new linear amplifier, it's a Russian military tube uh, linear using two uh, tubes uh, Golf uh, Mic India 83 Bravo not a very common tube not very often used in linear amplifiers but uh, in my opinion I think it's a it's a quite good tube and uh, it can be used without any problem to build quite decent linear amplifiers uh, the design power for this amplifier was uh, 600 watts. Of course, it is capable to do more than that, but um, that was what we started with. Uh, a good 600 watts on all modes, all bands for this amplifier. So, uh, let's uh, watch a little bit uh, how it is built. In the meantime, I'm starting the heater uh, to heat the tubes. So, we'll open the amplifier. I need a screwdriver. So, uh, as usual, the amplifier is uh, built using a doubler high voltage power supply. For these tubes, uh, I'm using only 2100 volts uh, in the idle mode, but those tubes are capable uh, to withstand much more than that. So, I think they are quite... Uh, uh, easy working at this uh, at this voltage I never had any flash uh, inside the tube any discharge so they are withstanding uh, easily the power um, here you have the I was checking that I don't have the anodic voltage um, here you have the anodic choke um, and uh, in the bottom part you can see those two tubes uh, Golf Mike India 83 uh, with the parasitic suppressors. Um, again, the parasitic suppressors are built according to the recommendations of Papa Alpha Zero Fox Radio India in a hair, uh, hairpin style uh, and they are performing very well. Here on the main board you can see, I hope you can see, uh, the cathode bias uh, circuit which is a Darlington transistor that you can see over there uh, with uh, a diode uh, with a 5 uh, watts with a 5 watts Zener diode into his base uh, uh, terminal um, of course there is a choke there uh, to prevent any RF uh, uh, to get into the bias circuit and the big cathode choke that you can uh, see there on a, a large ferret road from an old uh, radio receiver I think it's a Romanian Gloria receiver uh, that had that uh, ferret road you can see that the tubes uh, are heating uh, they are red but uh, for these tubes you need three minutes three minutes of heater before you can apply the anodic voltage so the transformers here you have the big anodic uh, voltage transformer uh, then you have the filament voltage transformer which, an, which is a, a, in a matter of fact an old Zetagi BV131 transformer uh, rewinded uh, to deliver the uh, heater voltage and here on this side you can see a small transformer uh, delivering uh, 12 and 24 volts uh, for the relays. Um, most of the relays are working at 12 volts as you can see here the input relay is here it's a it's a standard chinese relay not uh, uh, he doesn't need to withstand high powers uh, here you have the ptt 
and there you have the antenna relay which is an Omron relay uh, able to withstand 1kW. Uh, on the other part of the amplifier you can see as usual uh, the three coils perpendicular one another uh, for the P filters. I always use this configuration to prevent these charges on the, on, the, on, the, on the switch, on the band switch. If the coils are uh, in the same axis, you will have flashes and discharges and you, you are risking to destroy uh, the, the band switch uh, that you can see there. So, uh, to prevent any discharge, it is better to use those three coils. This is the coil for 80 meters, the 3.5 megahertz band. This is the coil for 7 megahertz and 10 megahertz band. And this big coil uh, on a copper pipe, um, silvered copper, copper pipe, uh, built on Dacia brake system uh, uh, copper pipe, is covering uh, between 14 and 28 megahertz band. Uh, you can see that the plate re, uh, capacitor is, as always, uh, with my amplifiers, a Russian military vacuum capacitor. And uh, for the antenna uh, uh, capacitor, it's a classical, uh, it's a classical uh, air-spaced uh, capacitor. Not very spaced, in a matter of fact. Uh, so the amplifier will not tolerate uh, uh, huge uh, SWR. Big SWR, it will not be tolerated, it will discharge. But as long as the antenna is, uh, is 50 ohms or it's correctly matched, uh, there will be no problem. Here uh, you can see, sorry for that, that was the case. Um, here you can see the coupler for the power meter, uh, which is uh, wound on the toroid. Uh, just very simple, uh, simple rectifier uh, to the power meter. Uh, well, I think that's it. Uh, we will continue uh, with the test uh, for this uh, for this amplifier. So uh, here we are with the test of the amplifier. The heater is on, and we're gonna start on the 3.5 megahertz band. Here it is, and the power is let's increase the drive. It's working, 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 and there it is 1 kW, 1 kilowatt. Now we are going to change the scale. Um, we're going to change the band, I mean, and I, I will not pass through all the bands. I will go just to the 28 megahertz band and uh, see how much power um, I can obtain uh, from this band. Yes, I, of course, it will not be uh, such, a, such a good uh, power uh, as it should be. Uh, in other bands, but uh, I think it will work so Here the tuning will be more difficult uh, It's not gonna be easy, but uh, we're gonna do it As I said, it's not going to be an easy tuning. The internal capacities of the tube are quite impressive at those frequencies. So the tuning is often quite difficult. But that's it. So let's increase a little bit the drive. 
and let's tune again uh, yep 600 and I think we can have more 700 and maybe a little bit more uh, if we want to try a little bit harder and this is it what we can obtain around 750 maybe 800 watts in the uh, 10 meters band so the amplifier is working on in all the bands with more power than uh, it was designed for 600 we're having uh, there uh, 750 but uh, of course in the top bands the uh, the efficiency is not the same so thank you for watching wish you all the best from Romania 73